Hi all, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Firstly, let me apologise. If you hear any weird noises during this voiceover, it's actually not me. It's my little cat, Tiny. She's decided to sleep on my hand. Ah, oh, well, she's cute. I can't stop her. Okay, now on to the actual project. These signs were made using MDF. 9mm in the front and back, and 16mm in the middle. This gives me enough space for an LED strip. Most of the hard work was done with a blue carved CNC using Inventables easel software. The first part that was cut was the back panel. The hole in the centre is for a battery pack to power the LED strip when in use. Next cut was the centre panel. This is a little thicker, so I can squeeze in an LED strip. Finally time to cut the front panel. Now time for some clean up. Here I'm removing tabs and cleaning up any rough surfaces. I use a block plane and some coarse sandpaper to quickly take care of this step. I broke the hard edges on the front and rear panels with a router table and a roundover bit. This took no time at all. As you can probably hear, my speed controller seems to be playing up. Time to contact Triton, I think. Ah oh, well, it's a pretty old router. I can't complain. The LED riser was glued in place, I roughly centred it out and stuck it down. Now on to the first round of finishing. All the exposed parts were sprayed with primer. I partially applied some to the unseen rear parts so I can get a good wrap around finish around the edges.
Once all the parts had dried, I removed any raised grain with quick sand and started on the final finish. I applied three coats on most parts. I didn't show all of it. I didn't want anyone to fall asleep. As you can see my gold spray can was almost finished, you can see it really sputtering away here. I used a fresh can for the final coats. Now onto the lettering. I used Aura Mask to protect the sign and to help with the finishing. I also added an access hole for LED wiring from the rear to the centerizer. Adding this lettering was the longest part of the job. It took over an hour to cut. Then a quick coat of primer and some gold and black paint. Actually you made a little mistake here, I applied too much paint a little too quickly and it leaked under the masking. But the fix was quite easy, I lightly rolled over another top coat and completely covered up that issue.
all done. I'm really happy with the way this sign turned out. And of course, happy birthday to my beautiful wife, Linda. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my work. Cheers.